So today we're gonna do a what's in the box. This is a Chief quarter inch mini air angle die grinder. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, what does a die grinder really matter for price wise? It doesn't really matter. You can buy these things at starting probably at 18 bucks, cheap as I've seen them, all the way up to 60 and 70 bucks. The thing about this is, they all work the same. So it doesn't matter if you buy a cheap one, it doesn't matter if you buy an expensive one, it's going to work the same. The uh, only thing I can tell you to do and to stay away from is if you buy a die grinder and you buy a cheap one, do not buy one that has plastic. This is all metal. Uh, this is cheap. This is actually from Harbor Freight. Um, the only reason I bought it was because it's actually a good product. There's no plastic on it. Usually this little nut right here where my thumb is, those are plastic on a lot of these. Every time you throw them down, when you're using them, within a month or a week or two months or depending on how much you use it that nut right there will always break because it's plastic the only reason I bought this and spent 40 bucks for it was because it's actually a nice model you can buy cheaper ones the cheaper ones do have the plastic nut on it they do work the same uh, I don't know any difference from long-term use to short-term use they all do the same thing um, Man, I've had some really, really cheap ones in the past that lasted for years and years. So I won't say, you know, there's good and bad because, I mean, it is what it is. It's an angle grinder. And uh, I wouldn't spend a lot of money for one of these. You don't even use them 24 hours a day. It's not like you're going to use it for sanding out a car or something. You just don't do that with these. It does come with two keys. Now, can do this one hand, folks. Two keys, an instruction packet. Who reads instructions? I know I don't. As far as the box, this is what you get if you want to pause it and look at it. Um, it is an all-aluminum body, which I also like, and. I don't know there wasn't no reviews on YouTube about this but I needed to buy this for one reason I don't really have a reason for this because I have four inch angle grinders I have die grinders I have all kinds of grinders um, I had to buy this for a reason so I'll be showing you that also I'm gonna do a small review on this so you can see how it works and how loud it is or even if it's loud or not um, you're supposed to use it's 22,000 rpm at 4 CFM so that's not bad um, I also had to buy pneumatic central central pneumatic oil air tool oil I bought it just to buy it because I usually put just synthetic motor oil or what have you into this and um, I figured I was there and it was cheap so what the heck you have to buy the fitting it doesn't come with the fitting so you have to put your your male fitting on the end of it and um, which I mean that's really cheap stuff and like I said you don't have to spend 40 bucks on this you can buy a cheaper one but it's the review is for the chief and um, it's it's really a nice piece. You'd have to go see it in person, which is that's what that's what sold me on it. That's why I bought it. But the main reason I bought it was because I needed these. These are the uh, surface conditioning kits. It has 60 grit, 100 grit, 120, 240. It comes with the backer and the stud which is quarter inch which is perfect for this or your drill uh, it comes with sanding disc several of them 
and it comes with a scotch Bright and more sanding disc behind that. Got three sanding discs here. One, two, three, four, five. Five sanding discs here. And these are the ones that have the little studs behind them. That way you can actually screw them onto the backer or backing plate, whatever you want to call it. And um, this is the coarse grit, three inch. These are also from Harbor Freight. I went to Home Depot and I went to Lowe's and these are stupid expensive. And they're basically the same exact things. So there's some stuff I recommend you can get from a cheap place like Northern Tool or Harbor Freight. There's nothing wrong with it. It does the same exact thing as going out and buying the expensive ones from Lowe's and Home Depot. And they last just as long. And I know this because I've already had these. Um, my stuff is already old and junked. So I had to rebuy these for a purpose. I bought this for a purpose. And um, let me show you what I need it for. So here's what happened. And here's what I bought it for. I have the ZZ, ZT Fab US General bottle holder to convert the toolbox into a welding cart. I let it sit out for three days and this is what happens when you leave it out in humidity. It instantly rusts. This doesn't have anything to do with Z, ZT Fab. They actually tell you in the instructions if you don't paint it going to rust immediately so that's exactly what happened so I got a video coming up where I'm going to take this out um, I was just going to leave it like this and take it and I said man nobody's going to want to see me it, it just looks stupid like that so I'm going to clean it all up make it look brand new again and then I'm going to do a detail of how I take it out and uh, that's it so, because of this, and because I left it out of the box, I had to buy that, and I had to buy that. So, let me do a quick demonstration of how well it works. Hopefully it works well. And then uh, we'll go from there. Also, let me point out, this is your valve adjustment. You loosen this, and you can open and close that. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to see in the video. But there's a valve in there and it's wide open right now but if you close this some it'll start to close that valve up and slow your pressure down some you want it wide open or you want it closed a little bit it's up to you I'm gonna get some Teflon tape on this a lot of people will use uh, dope or some kind of paste pipe dope or whatever they'll put them on me I will use the uh, Teflon tape and I'm good with that um, I hate to say it, but the quality on this, just the outside, just the visual of how smooth and how, how well of quality this is, I really like it. I hope it works and, and lasts for a while. Like I said, I did, I did some, I looked up for some reviews on it, I couldn't find any. But for 40 bucks, it's got to work. I mean, if it's a lot more expensive than the cheaper ones, it's got to work. And uh, technically, it looks a whole lot better than the cheaper ones. So let me get this little bit of stuff put together, and then we'll do a live demo. All right, so here I got some Teflon tape. Pull a little bit out here. done then you can start to screw this on and that's usually going to be a 9 16 this doesn't have to be super super tight just make sure it's tight And then on your oil, 
you really just want to use a couple drops. And there's probably going to be a seal on this. Yep. Take that off. Which probably means the moment you set this down somewhere or in your toolbox and it falls over, it's probably going to leak. So wherever you put this, try to keep it standing straight up. So let's put a couple drops in this. And I put six. You don't have to kill it with oil. Just put a few drops. I just put six, but just, you know, use common sense on that. Hold the trigger down so you can open the valve. Let it run in. And then... There's an area here. This little check ball. They sell a little tool. You press in there and you, and you squirt lithium grease in there. I'm pretty sure it already has some from the factory. I've never heard of you having to grease it up as soon as you buy a brand new one. Maybe when the next maintenance round comes around you can do that. But I don't think you have to do it now. The only thing I know you do have to do is at least put the, uh, the uh, pneumatic tool oil in it. Then... Good old trusty heart knife. Just make it cut from the back. And from this corner. So they sure didn't make these to where you can't steal them. They make it really hard to steal. Lord. Good lordy. Alright, so you got your little stud, screws into this. I don't really think you need to tighten that up with a wrench because the moment you apply pressure from whatever you're going to grind or whatever, it's going to automatically tighten that up. So I'm going to grab the coarsest one I have. This isn't that coarse. This is this is the coarsest one there is. So these just screw on there. this same thing uh, you got your keys where are you some people like to push them all the way down I like to have some kind of shaft on it so your little key goes on on the back part of it your big key goes on the outside It doesn't have to be super tight. It's out about a half inch. It's got oil in it. That's it. The Chief Quarter Inch Angle Grinder. Alright, let me get some air hooked up and then let's see how well this works. Alright, so at the end of my hose, I have a pressure gauge. Shows you how much pressure you got. Okay. Mine's showing 120. You don't want more than 90 pounds coming out of this. That's all that's recommended. So let me get that adjusted. Come on. This is stupid. This is coming off. 
right now. Okay, hold up. Um. It's so hard to press this to press this up to try to use it. So the first thing that's gonna happen, it gets cut off. Or we break it off, one or the other. Some of these you can buy with, and some of these you can buy without this little safety device. Um, I don't need it. I don't have children that use my tools, so it's not like there's going to be a problem or somebody's going to get hurt. So there it is. I took it off. Now what? Even when you put this, this is really hard to press on once the air is on it. So. And it's also good because if you take it off, you can clip this in your pants or on a holder or something. All right. Give me one second. Since so you can see it's real heavy right here, it's not that heavy. It's not like it's corroded rust already on the metal. It's just surface rust. So this should take it off really easy. And that's it. That's all you need. That's all I needed. And that's why I bought the tool. Took it right off. Of course, mind you, there are tiny pits, but as long as you use a decent paint for this, you don't have to worry about that. And I plan on doing that, but I'm going to show that on the uh, ZT build. I'm just showing you right now that it works well for what I need it for. Um, it feels strong. Feels good. It, I mean, it's worth the money. 40 bucks. What, what, what's there to negative to say about it? It, it works. It did its job. Um, I recommend it. All right, guys, that's the Chief Angle Grinder. Like, subscribe, and share, guys. It actually helps me out. Makes more videos for you guys, too. Thanks.